In this video, we're going to use the midpoint rule to approximate a definite integral. So the definite integral we're going to approximate is the integral from 1 to 3 of x over x squared plus 8 dx, and we're going to use five rectangles. So the only difference between approximating using the midpoint rule and um, the right endpoint or left endpoint is that in the midpoint rule, we need to find the subintervals and then find the midpoints of those subintervals so we can um, take the height of each rectangle at the midpoint. And this is usually, if we're going to use approximations uh, for definite integrals, the midpoint rule is generally a better approximation than either the right endpoint or the left endpoint. If we're going to find an exact definite integral, then the right endpoint is just an easier uh, computational tool, and we get an exact answer anyway. But midpoint rule is best for approximations. All right, so let's get started. We need uh, five equal width subintervals. So let's look at what that looks like. So here's the interval from 1 to 3, and we're chopping it up into five subintervals. Let's find uh, the width of each subinterval. So delta x is um, the width of the big interval, 3 minus 1, divided by the number of subintervals we have. So it's going to be 2 fifths. So each of those subintervals has width 2 fifths. So we need to now find those right endpoints um, so that then we can find the midpoint of each of the subintervals. So the first right endpoint is 1 plus 2 fifths, or 5 fifths plus 2 fifths. So the first right endpoint is 7 fifths. Then we keep moving to the right, uh, a width of 2 fifths, and the next right endpoint is 9 fifths. The third one, or fourth one, uh, the third right endpoint is 11 fifths. The fourth right endpoint is going to be 13 fifths, and then the last one has to be 15 fifths, or 3. All right, so we need the midpoints now, because that's what we're actually going to use to plug in and get the height of each rectangle. So the midpoints are written, uh, we write xi bar for the ith midpoint. And so, as we can see, the first one is going to be 6 fifths, the second one is halfway between 7 fifths and 9 fifths, fifths, so that's 8 fifths. The third one is 10 fifths. The fourth one is 12 fifths. The last one is 14 fifths. So now we have our five midpoints. And so the midpoint rule says the definite integral from 1 to 3 of x over x squared plus 8 dx is approximately equal to the finite sum from 1 to 5 of the areas of these rectangles. So f of xi bar times delta x. And so now I'm going to write out the finite sum of all the f of xi bars, and I'm going to pull the delta x out using the distributive property. So the sum looks like this. 6 fifths over 6 fifths squared plus 8 plus 8 fifths over 8 fifths squared plus 8, plus 10 fifths over 10 fifths squared plus 8, plus 12 fifths over 12 fifths squared plus 8, and the last term is 14 fifths over 14 fifths squared plus 8, and I'm multiplying that sum by delta x, which is 2 fifths. And now I have to compute a bunch of fractions, put it into a calculator. We're going to get an irrational number, and we chop it off at the fourth decimal place. Now we don't do any approximating on any of these fractions. So when you use your calculator, store each a uh, fraction that you get in your calculator, store it in your calculator because it saves all the decimal places. Don't chop them off and add them together because you're rounding each time you chop something off. So after 
I add all these things together and I get my final answer. Then I chop it off at the fourth decimal place and I round it appropriately. I get 0 0.3186. All right, so that's how to use the midpoint rule on uh, approximating a definite interval. I'll see you in another video.